here we go. Take a seat, cop a squat, and um, thank you for coming in. Um, I'd like you to smile. I'd like to see a big smile. But don't take my word for it. Let's take a look at the tape. The last video I talked about was exhausting to research. I just had to take a break and detox by watching one of my favorite shows, The Office, because that's like way cheaper than therapy. Then I was thinking, why haven't we talked about The Office here before? It's only like one of the best TV shows in existence. Fact. No matter how many times you've seen The Office, today I'm going to be showing you there's something you missed. <laughs> You used to be able to watch The Office on Netflix, but the good old days are gone. And if you don't have all the seasons on DVD, well, that's just weird. Don't worry, though, you can still watch The Office over at PeacockTVD.com. And if you use the link below, you can try to watch all nine seasons with a free seven-day trial. Okay, we have Easter eggs, bloopers, and fun facts. But to clarify, there are two TV shows of The Office. The first one came out in 2001 over on the BBC, and that's not the version we're talking about here today. I did watch both versions, but the British one, I only watched all the seasons start to finish once, and only once. Oh, yuck. Oh. <laughs> in this show, we'll be referencing to the better version, the American version of The Office that came out a few years later in 2005. Now it could be a culture thing, maybe British people don't find our American version funny. Do I need to be liked? Absolutely not. I like to be liked. I enjoy being liked. I have to be liked. But it's not like this compulsive need to be liked. Like my need to be praised. Highly doubtful, but that is a possibility and that's fine. Anyways, to avoid confusion, anytime I talk about The Office, I'm referring to America's version, unless otherwise mentioned, like the very next Easter egg. The first thing you should notice is that The Office pays respect to the original show a few times. One way is if you look in Michael Scott's office, he has a British flag on his desk. The Simpsons used to be on the same channel along with The Office, and if you look, you will see Homer Simpson makes an appearance on the show on a regular basis, even celebrating birthdays with them. This could be a subtle brainwash to make us watch both shows back then. But the main reason is because Greg Daniels, who's one of the brains behind The Office, also used to be one of the writers for The Simpsons. You've been axed, punk! So the cruelest prank that Michael Scott did on Pam, in season one at least, was when he fake fired her. In that, I am going to have to let you go first. What? Why? And Ryan was very much disapproval of this prank. But that's ironic because Ryan Howard is played by B.J. Novak, and if you don't get the connection here, B.J. Novak played as multiple characters in an old TV show called Punked, where they literally pranked people to tears. Hillary Duff. When you're 16, you get a driver's license. And how do you get your driver's license? You go to the driving school. Our instructor today will be B.J. B.J. will be teaching Hillary how to drive and fend for her life. Good luck with your driving test, and try not to get your car jacked. So Ryan actually did do his fair share of scaring innocent people. Move your car. It's got a bat, dude. It's got a bat. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Don't make me throw you out of this car. Get out of the car! Are you telling me that it's my fault that I got out the car? It's your fault that our car got stolen. Oh my god, I just want to like cry. I hate you. Yeah, what do you think? BJ Novak is also one of the writers for this show, so he probably played a role in having this scene created. There's also similarities to The Office and Punked. Like in one episode, they pranked Tommy Lee, convincing him that he hit someone with his car. <laughs> and Michael Scott also hit Meredith with his car. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team. I feel very blessed. <laughs> BJ also pranked Mia, making her think he was crazy for her and obsessed with her. Similar to how Kelly Kapoor is crazy for him. So Punked is probably one of the original sources of inspiration for some of what we got to see in The Office. In Michael Scott's meeting, if you look outside, you also see there's a shadow on the desk. Now, if that always bugged you and you were thinking, who in the heck is in Michael's office? Well, it's not an Easter egg or a secret. It was just the director, Ken Kwapi's shadow. When the company is on the verge of a mass layoff, what better way to spend your company time than playing a game of basketball? 
instead of getting, oh, I don't know, more clients. But there are some fun things that we need to point out here. Like when Kevin's hitting nothing but net, that's not fake. He swished it like 13 times in a row, back to back, before he finally messed one up. Also, when Jim got smashed in the face by Roy, that was actually real. But it was an accident, but it was real blood. During the pilot reading, Jim was playing around with a label maker and made a label that said, shut up, and stuck it on his tie. But he forgot it was there during shooting, so you can actually see it in the final shot. In the pilot, Michael Scott says this is my kingdom as far as I can see. Ah, see, we have the entire floor. So this is my kingdom, as far as I can see. And this is clearly a reference to Disney's Lion King. Look, Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. Later on in the show, at Chili's, we find out that Jan Levingston Gould allegedly was divorced because her husband didn't want to have kids, but she did. Tell us about your divorce. Ooh. Oh no, Ew. Michael, 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 Ew, right. Michael, please. No. no. Oh, really? Hey, so it's... you're not going to play. She's not playing. Not She's fair. not playing the game. We've been fighting fair. for a while. Check, he didn't want kids. I knew that going into it, but he also knew that I did. Mm -hmm. So I guess I thought that he would change his mind. He thought that I would change mine. But then when Michael Scott was with her, she seemed to be uncertain if she really wanted kids or not. When I said that I wanted to have kids and you said that you wanted me to have a vasectomy, what did I do? And then. When you said that you might want to have kids and I wasn't so sure, who had the vasectomy reversed? And then when you said you definitely didn't want to have kids, who had it reversed back? Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. I did. Okay. You have no idea the physical toll the three vasectomies have on a person. And we learned how much he's actually falling apart mentally. <laughs> on your zero dollars a year salary plus benefits, babe! But the very first time that we ever saw her, she wasn't wearing her wedding ring. So it's likely that she was already having struggles with her husband since the beginning of the show, or because she was cheating on him. That one seems more likely with her personality. You know that the show takes place in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and they pay attention to the details. Like in Michael Scott's office, you can see the Scranton map or a Scranton newspaper. The reality, though, is that they filmed it in California. Also, in Michael Scott's window, we see a bunch of oak trees. These are actually palm trees, though, and they had to get lifts and tie branches to them to make them look like they're oak trees because, spoiler alert, there are no palm trees in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Mr. Brown was also a cameo. He is Larry Wilmore, who is one of the writers for the show. And in case you missed the irony in diversity training when Kelly slaps Michael, Try my googie googie! Try my googie googie! Try my googie googie! Try my... Here's the deal. Everyone had a race card on their head, and you were supposed to say something super offensive relating to the race on their head. Well, she wasn't wearing a card on her head, so that's the punchline. All right! All right! Yes! That was great! There's so much in the show that would never fly with our PC world we live in today. But there's a more serious question lingering here. What was in the bag that Roy was carrying out? Um, what's in the, uh, what's in the bag? Let's tell her to talk to her later. No, definitely. All right, dude, awesome. Will do. Well, it's not trash. The dumpster is right next to the warehouse, so he wouldn't go upstairs to dump out the trash. And it's not like he's changing clothes, so it wasn't that, because Roy wanted to go straight home. Uh, no, no, come on. Let's get out of here. Go home. So here's what I think. I think Roy was stealing supplies from the company, and maybe that's why when Michael told Pam that she was fired for stealing, that she seemed worried. I am going to have to let you go first. What? Why? until she realized that Michael was accusing her of stealing and not Roy. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Because obviously Pam would never steal Roy, on the other hand, he probably would. And get this, she wanted to get married and not just be engaged forever, obviously we know that, but the money that they were saving for the wedding, we find out in a deleted scene that Roy used that money to buy the Wave Runners. Well, I thought we were saving money for the wedding, but apparently Roy thought it was more important to buy two wave runners. I don't really ever even get to use the other wave runner that's supposed to be mine because his brother uses it and they race. So maybe Roy was trying to make money on the side to recoup the money that was being saved for the wedding. 
These two women in the meeting are random extras, but they were also actual accountants for the show. John Krasinski and his friends went to Scranton, Pennsylvania and filmed the scenes that we see in the intro. And when they went and visited the real paper factory, the manager there had one of those weird dancing hamsters in her office, and that's why Michael Scott has a hamster in his office. Now there are nine seasons of The Office and there's a lot of facts and secrets. Most of the secrets we talked about today are just in season one. If you want to see everything you missed in all the seasons, let me know. If you're a weirdo though and you don't want to hear any more about The Office, let me know what you want to hear instead. And if you haven't seen The Office or want to watch it again because who doesn't want to watch it again, then click the link below and get your seven day free trial of Peacock TV. And until our next adventure, fact. If you share a smile, it can be contagious. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.